Hello and welcome to our program. A few months after the implementation of the EU directive, which forced mobile phone operators to drastically reduce their roaming charges, initiators of the legislation have every reason to be satisfied. At the beginning of the summer, as soon as the directive became law, most European companies adjusted their prices. And today, all companies, without exception, abide by the rules. European Parliament's rapporteur Paul Rubig and Commissioner Vivian Redding explained in a press conference the reason for its success. The success was that we created a real European market between the 27 member states, 500 million customers, and now we have learned that the prices were reduced up to 70%. And I think it's a real success story because, on the other hand, uh, we have a better market and uh, economic situation for the telecom industry as well. So it was a win-win situation for the industry and for the customer, and I think that brought us uh, this very good regulation. Commissioner Vivian Redding also expressed her satisfaction and thanked members of the European Parliament for their contribution in promoting the new legislation. She also referred to legislation of telecom services as a whole. It was a real success story because, yes, prices went down by up to 60 percent. Yes, 400 million citizens minimum uh, received the new roaming prices. Uh, yes, uh, the consumers are happy and they say it. Roaming is a symptom, was a symptom. We have, in order not to have tomorrow another roaming question, or another question in that sense, we have to reform the system. And that is exactly what I have put on the table last week, the telecom package, which is for reforming the system, and uh, which in order to become more efficient in the application of the rules. Consumers throughout Europe have been pleasantly surprised on their return from holidays with roaming charges reduced on their phone bills. However, Parliament's rapporteur Paul Rubig still considers there's improvement to be made in the area of text and multimedia messages. It seems there are some problems with the SMS and the MMS. What is the European Parliament going to do about it? Yes, first of all, in the regulation, we stated uh, that transparency has to be given. So today you have to uh, get the information free of charge from your operator uh, to get your individualized price at any time all over Europe. Uh, the second uh, point is that we asked the Commission to come up with a proposal within the next months on this data roaming and SMS and M MMS uh, to see if we have to do something. For us, the best thing would be self-regulation of the industry if they come up with fair and good prices around Europe. Uh, of course, new, ne uh, new legislation is not necessary if the market uh, doesn't react itself. Of course, we have to place new regulation. Further information and previous Web TV reports can be found on our website www.epp-ed.eu. This programme was brought to you by the press service of the EPPED Group, the largest political group in the European Parliament. See you again soon.